This podcast is brought to you and powered by Sunday Cool. <laughs> Watch this or listen. Gulp. You guys do not skip this ad. Please listen to what I have to say and to what Andy has to say. Guess what? Our new JFK Avenge Me t-shirts are live on sundaycoolswag.com. It's beautiful. They're super soft. And it's only $20. What are you waiting for? Yep, and it's a limited time run only. They're, they're going fast. When I said that, it sounded weird coming out. Limited time only, baby. Limited time going, baby. They're going to go fast. They're going to go fast, so get them now. Sound like hotcakes. SundayCoolSwag.com. Go! Bye! Oh. It's happening. <laughs> I'm changing. He was that friend. <laughs> he was that friend. <laughs> and he betrayed them. Who was that? Harry, Harry. Potter. Okay. He was that friend. I thought I thought you were I I was as soon as you said that I thought of the scene. How dare you stand where he stood? <laughs> <laughs> How dare you stand there where he stood? Yo, real talk though. When that part happens, when he confronts Snape like that, how yeah. dare you stand there where you stood? You coward. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Aren't you just like? <gasps> yeah, and then and then whenever McGonagall says, "Coward, Slytherin to the dungeons." <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> no. <laughs> just also, I also kind of like thought that was like super mean, like how she just like yeah. she put everyone. There's probably like a couple of people <laughs> like, "Listen, I'm just here. I'm, I just got put in this class. I'm yeah. gonna, I'm here for the grades, man. I'm <laughs> I'm working hard on school." Can you turn my headphones down a hair? A hair? What kind of hair? Test test one two. Yeah, yeah. That was like more of a. I was an elfin hair. Can you turn How it thick up a is horse an elfin hair? hair? Oh, uh, you don't know? <laughs> no. How do you not know that? How do you know that? I know because I, I mean, if they're very basic knowledge at this point. Mm. Yeah, a quarter, a quarter inch. <laughs> it's a big hair. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm. It's a big. It's a big animal. First of all, <laughs> of course, it's gonna. Have, yeah. That. Yeah, it's intimidating. Dang. Well, yeah, now you know. Have you ever encountered an elephant? Uh, in real life, at the zoo, actually turn turn them up just a hair. What's the biggest animal you've the ever bunny hair? In, you've this ever is encountered? A, that's too high. It's like it's oh, it's like a fine there, right there. Mm, that's basically where you were. Uh yeah, that's fine. We're just, we're all just making it up at this point. What was the biggest animal you've ever encountered? I rode an elephant. No way. You rode one like in the wild. Okay. No, like sure, like like if you if you rode one or like touched one or something like that, like the biggest one you've ever like actually encountered. I think I've touched an elephant. Have you? When? Touch, yeah. touch How would you elephant. not remember? <laughs> touched by an elephant. It yeah. seems like. What's the essence <laughs> of an encounter? <laughs> seems like a really bad romantic comedy. Yeah. It's like touched by an angel. Yeah. I think that there has to be no fencing between you and the animal. You don't have to touch. Like it. the sword fighting. I got. Watch it. Yeah. What's the story? <laughs> What no, was like the fencing. biggest animal that you've oh, encountered? Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, Mama Grizzly in Yellowstone. Oh, yeah, Grizzly. I did a Grizzly in, <laughs> I saw a Grizzly in Wyoming. True. Peeing. Yes. Why does Lily's mic sound so quiet? Because I'm sitting really far I'm away I'm still from stuck it. on Touched by an Elephant. <laughs> 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 I think the guy goes to the, here's the movie. I think the guy goes to a zoo and is like just chilling. Just like it's a day off at work and stuff and he's a single guy and then just somehow just makes a love connection with an elephant. <laughs> the love, like the elephant like passes him a note with her trunk or something like that. Or he's, he's like, like or it's like a, a kid that it's like, he's a punk and like yeah. his, he's like in trouble with the law yeah. and his mom, his single mother forces him to go work or volunteer at the zoo. Yeah. And then like the, the elephant shows him how to love once again. Yeah. And so he becomes a good kid and then falls in love with the zookeeper. That's really good. I think um, almost touched be, by an elephant. Touched by an elephant. A guy, a, a kid, as a young age, is in, at a zoo, and he's uh, he, this begs his parents to pay for like the extra encounter, like the elephant encounters. You get to, like feed him and stuff. And as soon as he touches the elephant, DNA passes through his nostrils through the, <laughs> to, the elephant's nostrils, and he now can read and talk and communicate with animals. Yo. I used to be able to make a elephants. really good elephant noise, but I can't do it as good. You now. Can't do your say best that. one. Do it good with Ada. Do it. Yeah, do your best one. Okay. <clears throat> No. Yeah. <laughs> I told you it used to be better. That was pretty good. That was yeah, pretty. that was all right. It sounded a little more um birdie. 
Birdie? <laughs> <laughs> Buddy? What do you mean bird? It's not like a bird? Yeah. Like, I can't do it again. It made me like so Like a morning annoyed. lark. Uh-oh. So like what you just said, Andy, about how like the DNA seeps through and they have this kind of connection. When I was seven, mm-hmm. I went to a farm that was owned by my mom's house mother when she was in a sorority. We went yeah. to go visit her. And um, there was a rabbit and I held it and it scratched me on my chest. And I had the scratch for like a month. Yeah. And it would pulse sometimes. And I thought I thought every time it pulsed, a rabbit needed my help. <laughs> <laughs> you what? never told me that. That's so good. That's, they need me. <laughs> Just wake up my in the middle of the night. <sighs> they need me. <laughs> Just run outside. Oh. The rabbits, they need me. <laughs> Um, guys. Hey, happy birthday, Josh! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Josh is happy birthday! Josh is happy birthday! And it's your birthday! Yay! We're so excited! 35! Nope. What? 31. Oh, 31. 31? Why would you? That's like more insulting to like just add a couple more years. Yeah, I know. That's why I said it. (laughs) 33. Oh, 63. It's like, oh, Andy, you're such a silly goose. It's like, no, I want to hit you where it hurts. Um, But I also (laughs) want to send a special happy birthday out to um, her mom reached out to us. And today is her actual birthday. uh, Haley McGregor. Hey. McGregor. 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 She you turned. Say, she turned eighteen. Oh, happy congrats! Birthday. Now you can run away. <laughs> happy Legally. birthday to me and Haley. You and Haley. Happy, happy birthday to you and Haley. Haley, eighteen and thirty-one. Happy, happy birthday, dear Haley and Josh, Josh thirty-one, eighteen. Me. Yep. Happy birthday to. You, you, me, and Haley, you and Haley, you turned 18, Josh, I just turned 31, 31 looks 35, but I've had the some time myself. That sounds actually more insulting. Yeah. What are you doing? You didn't, you weren't even singing. I was. I'm sorry. Why does the mic make noise? My one birthday wish is that you put your phone Listen, away. Listen, no, but this is what happened. I didn't text mom what time Jane's nap was. Oh. Boo. So I just did. Um, How you feeling? 31. Whoa. Whoa, you could have never done that if you were 30. Whoa. <laughs> oh, man, yeah. 31's changed you. Whoa, wow, for the better. <laughs> um, Song. Yes. Let's go with it. Song, song. <laughs> All right. I'm nervous about this one. Are these hard or is my lung good. capacity bad? I think, I don't think they're the noise. Yeah, yeah they, they, they really have... hard. <laughs> Sounds like an elephant. <laughs> it does. It does. Oh, my gosh, I'm going to be aneurysm. <laughs> Okay. That's your that's your scale. Just go for it. I don't care. You need to know your scale. Ninjas, butterflies here. What a surprise. Ninjas are butterflies flying through the sky. I look up and I ask them why. Why? Why? Why do you fly so high? I, I, I wanna fly high with you. Cause ninjas are butterflies. Yes, they are. We don't know why. Don't know why. It's episode 60. That's twice as much as 30. How fun. Let's start the show. Now let's start. guys need to do is um just use chat gpt that wasn't good enough for you i did like it i'm just saying give yourselves a break 
Let I, the robot do it. I, I, I don't that know was I giving good. us a break. We were just going with it. Yeah, we were in. We were in the moment. I can't wait for you to hear next week's song, though. I'm really <laughs> it's, dude, when we came up with it, woo! It's gonna be good. It's we be wanted good. to do it for this episode, but we didn't have enough time to practice. It's, it deserves practice. It actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. It actually, yeah. Yeah. maybe that's that's time. what we do. Maybe we try to just do monthly like. Bangers. Fully written bangers, yeah. and then the rest of them have to be improvised. Yeah, I Which agree. Is also I agree. Yeah. Everyone, be quiet. Everyone, just stop talking. Stop looking at me. Don't look at me. None of you look at me. This is my birthday. Stop. Look down. All of you, look down. <laughs> Don't laugh. Because this question is very serious. Today's question, sent by a viewer. Don't look at me. Did musicians? <laughs> Invent depression. Oh, uh, um, I guess you should probably pick who you want to answer first because it's your birthday. Um, I want, I want, um, Lily to answer it first. Did musicians invent depression? Go. No. Interesting. Because I think they did. I think they can. I kind of think. I mean, like you think about it, like. When I listen to sad music, I feel, feel sad. I feel sad. And, and when I feel sad, that means I'm depressed, right? Yeah. And like you didn't ask for it. No, definitely not. And they're the ones making the music. Yeah, right? manipulating me. Yeah. Gaslighting me. Yeah. So in a way, all musicians are gaslighters and manipulative people. Yeah. Uh, and so wait, wait, wait. So is Lily advocating for manipulative people? And yeah. Gaslighting Whoa. people? Oh my goodness, you guys, this is this is something. This is something! This is something! And Lily loves people that manipulate people and likes to gaslight them. Welcome to the show! Oh, Mr. Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. The butterfly is no doubt one of God's most beautiful As an empty your mind. You were martial arts! Fuck ninja! Don't burst a blood vessel. Yeah, that. <laughs> I felt my eyes poking out. Can I show you something? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I, I was trying to look at you. <laughs> <laughs> that hurt my face. What what hurt? The cap. <laughs> <laughs> that hit me. Did it hit you? It felt like someone punched <laughs> me in the face, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> Where did it hurt you? I'm not showing you. I didn't I didn't mean to. Not here? Not here. <laughs> right, right here. here. <laughs> not so much here. Hey, would that surprise you? <laughs> the cap's right here. What are you talking about? It bounced off his face. Yeah, it, it, it's it, a piece of paper. Uh, Andrew's going to show it in replay. He's going <laughs> to <he's gonna laughs> add like this huge thing. <laughs> wow. Happy birthday, Josh. <laughs> Happy birthday. Yay. Hey, I got, we, we got you a drink. Uh, <laughs> it's literally. What, what is that? It's a, it's a <laughs> strawberry Red Bull. <laughs> what? <laughs> but it's in your birthday girl chalice, wow. dude. I'll trade drinks with you. Oh my goodness. You have that drink now. <laughs> this is all Red Bull? <laughs> this is all Red Bull. <laughs> Don't drink all that. You have to by the end of the pod. How many cans is it? There's only two. A lot of ice. Is that really only two? <laughs> yeah, it's only two. It's very watered down. I want my Red Bull back. Okay, yeah, I'll take that one. I'll take that one. I'll be the birthday girl. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. I need a straw. It's really watered down. Cheers I want up. my back. <laughs> You're such a brat. I'm the birthday girl. <laughs> that is delicious. That's like literally, it's just gonna sit right in front and block my face. All the time. <laughs> it's like sitting right there. Gonna be, I'm gonna be cutting a real super serious, and that's gonna be in every frame. Um, well, how disappointing of it being such a fun start to the podcast with the really depressing things I have to talk about. <laughs> well, should we do your gifts first? Then yeah, they're, not, they're not. They're not depressing. They're just. Yeah. They're very intriguing. That's. It's. It's gonna be very funny whenever we're all very dressed happily and we're talking about sad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somber. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're like. Oh. oh. Do you want your gifts first? Yeah. Sure. Hey, we got yeah. you two gifts. Oh. Um, I'm not sure if Lily got you anything. Um, I didn't. <laughs> but te technically, technically, this is from her. So, okay. Yeah. yeah. So, I got you that cake. Thanks. Is that the Cookie Monster? It's a monster. <laughs> it's hold a up. Mo yeah, hold up hold the cake up. real quick. You can't it's, really see it. It's a monster. <laughs> hold on. That's a monster. Hold on. Strawberry down. 
Wow. <laughs> Thanks. Did you decorate that? No. I was going to say. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Here's your gift. This is from Andrew. All right. There you go. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? This is actually awesome. Right? A slingshot. Oh. We've that's talked a, about a legit this like, one. Like, like weeks and weeks ago on one of the podcasts. Yeah. Like probably towards the beginning. But I re- you remember those videos when the taking down the branches and stuff? Yeah. Dude, yeah. but all the rodents you got in your backyard, all dude. All the owls well, dude, are going to die. You know, yes. <laughs> I'm going to kill all the owls. And bald eagles. Yes. <laughs> that's and, awesome. Thanks, Andrew. And the white rhino. All right. This one's mine. I've been wanting to get the, you this for a long time. Okay. Nice. It's a gel blaster, dude. A gel blaster. <laughs> Weapons. Dude, I want I, I wanted to set it up before we got on the pod. Those That's Have awesome. you ever hit, been hit by one of those? No. It's so fun. Do it. Do they There's hurt? Like, no, no, they don't hurt. We'll do it for They're the fun. podcast after the podcast. All right. All right. Patreon exclusive. <laughs> wow. He yes. Said, does it hurt? <laughs> but does it hurt? Oh, wait a minute. Well, because he just said. Is it going to hurt me? What are you doing? My uncle buys it. They hurt. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Just trauma from the Sorry. confetti cannon. What the heck? You, guys, you gotta roast the birthday boy. No. You always gotta roast the birthday boy. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm 31 roasts. 31 roasts. Go. <laughs> okay. Um I just want to start off with this. The other day I was sitting here and I got a text message from this guy who works on a construction site and he's like showing me this door frame that he just built. Don't know who he was. <laughs> I said, That looks amazing, dude. I don't know who you are. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, you do. I'm like, no. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, dude, you were calling me like every other day last week. And he's like, you're always, I'm like, no, dude, I was not. I even looked, I'm like, Have, did I accidentally call this guy? <laughs> yeah. yeah. No. And he's like, what's your name? <laughs> I'm like, what's your name? Josh. And he's like, all right. He's like, then how do you have this number? I'm like, this is my phone number. And then he sent, sends me a screenshot. He's like, dude, you look at, you called me like this many times. I said, that's not my phone number. <laughs> and then he said, what's your phone number? I said, look at what you just texted. <laughs> and he's like, all right. Okay. <laughs> and that was the end of it. I was like, be his friend though. I was, I'll be, I was being nice. Oh, no, I'm just you, like, look at who you're texting, bro. You got to you gotta go. What do, what do we end with? Let me see. You, you got to go with that at that point. Like yeah. when they send you the video, you got to be like, do it again. Like, oh, or it's like, yeah. that, that's terrible. <laughs> terrible I, worksmanship. Yeah, I said, I said, laugh out loud. That's not my number. I texted him my number. I'm like, this is the number you're texting. <laughs> he said, I'm so confused. <laughs> 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 yeah. So um, I had a number text me one time and it was uh it was a person saying, you know, hey, could you come in, you know, tomorrow and we're going to talk and everything like that. And like, you know, just regular shift, like work stuff. Yeah. And I uh, I text back and it's like, you can forget it. I'm never coming back to that place. Oh, my gosh. And I just kept driving. <laughs> it's just like, that's yeah, funny. And then like two hours later, <laughs> I get a call I, from Kelsey and she's like, hey, did you talk to my boss? <laughs> oh, no. Oh. <laughs> because the person texts back and I look back later and the person texts back like, hey, is something wrong? And then I went back further when I was driving because the whole time I was like, yeah, yeah I mean, like I just, I'm just kind of fed up and <laughs> whatever. <laughs> just feeding into it because eventually it's going to get figured out. Um, but yeah, Kelsey was like, yeah, my boss, because like my phone wasn't working. So she texted you and I told her to oh text you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was like, I'm so sorry. Did the boss think it was funny after? Yeah, definitely. Okay. <laughs> She was super worried. She's like, this sounds nothing like Kelsey. <laughs> um, do you think Prime Day is a, it's fake? Yeah. Dude, Paige and I had an argument, not an argument, but what do you discussion. Mean? She was like, let's say, what do you mean? What do I mean? Prime like, okay, Day? Okay. How often are you looking at these, these things to buy and recognizing the price? The price, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. And then Prime Day, they're like, it's 71% off. And you're like, wow, what a deal. But could it be just the same price that it was earlier? But they just like, yeah. Manipulate the system. There's got to be people that can fact check that, right? It's called marking it up before you discount it. Mm. Oh, yeah. So they just gradually have everything on it, a sur- percentage increase. Yeah. And then they cut it off at once. We, Amazon's gaslighting all of us. We bought a chicken run today on Prime Day. Chicken and, run? Yeah, we've been looking at this it's thing. It's like a big chicken cage. And I, <laughs> I it guess. is. Poultry on the move? Mm hmm. Yeah. And I know it was like around $200 normally but they marked it up to like 250 or something and yeah. then discounted it 50% or something. Yeah. 
Interesting. Dumb. Interesting. But we That's, got it. Yeah. But. <laughs> <laughs> we still bought it. I thought you were talking about Chicken Run the movie. I was like, <laughs> we, yeah, we really want it. We've been saving up. We finally bought chi- Chicken Run on DVD. Uh, DVD Blu-ray. <laughs> Dude, do you guys see how much v- VHS tapes are worth? Now? The Disney ones, like if they're in mint condition, yeah, dude, like, th- like the cars, the cars VHS. Really? Have you seen that, Mm-mm. dude? People are selling it like you can sell it for like three plus grand. Dang, yeah. what's the equivalent of that now? Like, what's something we can start holding on to now? NFTs? <laughs> no, <laughs> you don't. I bet CDs will be worth money at some point, like still bound. Yeah, I, I yeah. know the Rocky, especially like the yeah, the really good CDs. Obviously, like the yeah, really, dude, yeah. Rocky on VHS just sold for over thirty thousand dollars. <laughs> still on the tape. Listen, when we I'm were saving g- all my DVDs, I have like one of those five hundred, um, like that big old set. But I mean, and that's not in the case or anything. But still, so yeah. Who knows? When we were going through my grandfather's things, he had a copy on VHS of Song of the South, that band movie from yeah. Disney. Mm-hmm. Yeah, crazy. I That'd probably go crazy on eBay. <laughs> well, there's no. It was this was like, it was like a. I said it was like a trick question. Facebook was trying to trick me. Mm-hmm. They had a VHS of Song of the South. And they said, "Are you interested in this product?" <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no. This seems like a trap. <laughs> <laughs> no, you I'm are not. interesting. Get them, boys. <laughs> 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 um, but I think it's. I think our grandkids are gonna have like CD players like on their like like displayed in their houses like how we now have like record, record players because player. <laughs> yeah. we're like oh this is so cool so i have it on vinyl our great grand our grandkids are just gonna have like cds and like <laughs> check this out yeah this is real cool cassette tapes are already like that it's like 30 bucks for a cassette yeah it's so silly it's so silly what, what? was like what was the first uh cd player that you got do you remember it um i do like yeah. just like what like what grade like that had been like eighth or ninth grade or something like that no i was no. younger than that I was probably I was like, like fifth grade or that's, something. That's what, yeah, I think I was around that time. I think it was too. a Sony one. Dude. Yep. Yeah. What's yeah. when you think of that C D player, what's what C D do you think of? Creed. Creed? For sure. Really? That was like that's awesome. always in our, my C D player. I love the fact that like <laughs> little sixth grade Josh is <laughs> Can you take me home? <laughs> just on old school bus. That's awesome. I was reliant <laughs> K. Anatomy of tongue in cheek. Yeah. Yep. Nice. Hillary Duff. Hillary Duff? Mine was Leakin Park. Lincoln Park, dude. Yeah, yeah, you're such a Lincoln Park kid. By the way, um, do you shop at? <laughs> that even mean? Such a I know Park you're. Kid. I know you're a Walmart <laughs> shopper, but do you ever go to Publix? Yeah. Oh, but you have yeah, one over by well. your house. Yeah, that's the closest one. I would not go to Publix if I didn't have to. Our Lock Lemon Publix it houses your doppelganger. Really? Literally <laughs> written in the same font as you. Like he's nice. younger. Like he might be like high school aged. Mm-hmm. Carbon that, copy. Sounds that's like a, a good looking guy. That's a tough life. High school age, and he's already bald. Well, I think he has hair, but he looks wow. a lot like you. <laughs> <laughs> he's like you, but just better looking. Yeah, and better looking, fit, younger. Yeah. And probably, <laughs> probably has present parents. Yeah, he probably has a dad <laughs> as, uh, in his childhood. Yeah. A very loving dad. <laughs> <laughs> um, but speaking of loving oh. dads, okay, and you having a doppelganger, doppel yeah. doppelganger, doppelganger, Dibble- dimpleganger. <laughs> Um, have you guys ever heard of the um, Voy Niche manuscript? The Voy Niche manuscript? No, no, I have not. <clears throat> Someone Voynich. on one of our uh, little ninjas on Patreon said you guys should talk about this. So I looked into it yesterday, and it's wild. Okay. Okay. Can you turn on my headphones? Like I just I feel like it's so quiet. Yeah. It's one, okay. One notch. That's perfect. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. The Voynich Manuscript was written, they estimate, between 1404 and 1438. Okay. And it's wild. Okay. Okay, so it's basically this, uh, it's how many, 240 pages of mid- medieval codex showing very detailed constellations, unknown plants and roots, and a lot of uh, undressed women. Okay. Oh. Like drawings. It's why it's the weirdest looking thing. And since it was written, no one has been able to figure out what it says. Like so what it's, language it's in? Yes. And there's been all these people like, no, I figured it out, but it's always disproven. Um, was he a doctor? What? Was he a doctor? The person writing this? Yeah. I'll get, I'm getting to it. 
Oh, why? I thought I was making a joke because handwriting, but uh, oh, this handwriting. Is bad handwriting. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the language that's written, they said it looks very similar to like a combination of like Hebrew and Latin. Mm. And then others have said it's a language that is alien. Like it's an alien language. Yeah. And this is where I made my own connection. Say it. <laughs> so it's really creepy, right? Um, let me just go to who they think wrote it. Okay. Um, they think it was a hoax. This It's a very elaborate hoax. But um, by someone named Edward Kelly in the 1400s, who was very much a part of the occult mm -hmm. okay. and like a very like sorcerer type mm. person. Count of St. John. And so <gasps> he talks about, Quit jumping ahead. they talk about this guy, Edward Kelly. He would go into these trances to where he would communicate with the angels. And this book was supposedly written down by his followers of what the angels were telling him. Spooky. And it was all, they say that it was a hoax because the Holy Roman Emperor, em, Emperor Rudolph like got uh, it. And he's like, what is, what are these angels trying to say? Yeah. But I thought it was weird going back to the book of Enoch, mm -hmm. just making this full connection. Cause if in fact, Edward Kelly was communicating with <laughs> angels, angels, the book of Enoch, which again, take it or leave it, take it or leave it <laughs> with the book of Enoch. <clears throat> But it talks about, it names these certain angels that were the fallen angels and what they were gifted in. And um, I'm not going to go through all of it, but like, um, so it talks about, I can't even pronounce these names. They're crazy. But one of them was gifted in enchantments. The other was gifted in astrology. One was gifted in the clouds, the signs of the earth, the signs of the sun, the course of the moon. And one was, where is this one? Um, this one was also taught enchantments and root cuttings. So like basically plants oh, and yeah. stuff. And like this book yeah. is like all about plants and like these unknown plants and these roots. Yeah. And like very detailed um, drawings of like constellations that you couldn't even see with the naked eye. Mm -hmm. Wow. And so, so how would he have known it? Yeah. Like he didn't have a telescope or anything. Yeah. What is well, maybe they did. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> and you look that up. The eighties, <laughs> um, but I thought it was interesting too with the unclothed women mm -hmm. of like how the fallen angels lusted over the women of Earth. Yeah, and I'm just like, is this like an account of like what they were like being taught? Mm -hmm. Because no one else, no one's been able to decipher it. Decipher it. That's, that is super super interesting. Yeah, where were they found? Where? Like where were those texts found? The, um, it was in Italy. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's super scary. Your guesses were wrong. But it disappeared. Well, it disappeared for like... Count of St. Germain could... Who knows? It was being like passed down through like different like philosophers and all this stuff. And then it just disappeared for like 200 years. Oh. And it just reemerged like in the past like 70 years or something. At so Bill now it's, Gates' house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where is it? Who has it? <laughs> it's like just on his like uh, coffee table <laughs> for just reading. But I and thought that was interesting. People come to visit and he's like putting his coffee cup on it and stuff like that. It's like... Everybody's like ah! Relax. Yeah. So that's wacky. That's my connection with and it's, the, the void niche. It, it makes me wonder that if, like, you know, 3,000 years from now, someone's going to find, like, our kids' drawings and they're going to be like, what is this language? <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's just scribbles and drawings on the What game. is this? <laughs> it's just like a savant kid doodling in their version of middle school. Yeah. Just like, <laughs> so funny. I think it's crazy, man, because, like, all these people, they, like, have, like, gone so far as, like, pour millions of dollars into research, research to try to translate it. Mm -hmm. Wow. Like building like computer systems they to be able it. to like decipher it and no one can do it. Oh my goodness. It's, it's going to happen eventually. There's got to be a way. If it says To make anything. some sense out of it. Yeah. If oh, it, it, has to say, it has to say something. Do you ever think about like their works of literature with made up languages that are so incredibly complex describing histories and universes? Like what if somebody from the future came back and got a hold of Tolkien's work? Like you would think oh, elves yeah, that, were real people. Yeah, yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's interesting. People yeah. have always had an imagination. I can imagine. I just want to put it's it's <laughs> <laughs> right. It's Thanks, crazy. <laughs> it is crazy that Jared Tolkien he literally made up a language. Yeah, he took it like old yeah. Gaelic and stuff. True. I didn't know that. But, yeah, the whole he made up Elvish. more than oh wow more yeah. than one. 
Wow. Each of the people has their own tongue, and you can actually learn it and use it. Like, there's Holy grammar. Moly. And he wrote it all? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jeez Louise, And could dude. speak I need to look all. into this guy. Is he a new, <laughs> yeah. a new upcoming author? Yeah, he is. He's yeah. a <laughs> bestseller? Yeah. Wow. He's That's, really, he's really um, being put on the map right now. Yeah. That's like yeah. the whole thing with the show on Amazon. I was like getting into the debate of whether or not Rings of Power was going to be good or not yeah. because of like who was writing it. And then I watched one of their conferences where they're talking and the two dudes who wrote some new characters in both start addressing all the like Comic-Con nerds in Elvish. And like, they just started speaking Elvish. I'm like, yep, they have the right. To <laughs> well, <laughs> I love opinion. Rings of Power. I thought they did a fantastic I did, I did job. Too. Yeah, yeah. I did too. So did Orlando Bloom put J.R. Tolkien on the map? <laughs> yeah. Would say, yeah. I, was, I was trying to make it. Did Amazon put Tolkien on the map? <laughs> no, I mean, think about it. No one ever heard of Tolkien before, <laughs> before Orlando Bloom. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know about him. This is why Andrew goes, Hold on! But speaking of Tolkien being put on the map, yeah. Um, have you ever heard of the church in Jerusalem called the Church of the Holy Sepulcher? <laughs> no. <laughs> No, I have not, Josh. <laughs> Why? <laughs> really? Dude, these you re- haven't I, heard of the church, the Holy Church, of the or the Church of the Holy Sepulchre? No. What? I can't believe I, I'm just as surprised as surprised as you. Oh man. my goodness! No. Cutting this up is going to be so <laughs> ridiculous. Um, but so basically, it's this um church where they speculate where Jesus was both crucified and buried, mm-hmm. and <laughs> <when he's, laughs> I just. <laughs> Yeah, you're good. Um, but it's it's owned. They had like these uh, different denominations were fighting over it for since it came about, basically. Right. Um. So now they basically have this treaty with six different Christian denominations, and it's so strict to where there is, if you look at it, the church. There's a ladder that's sitting outside. And I think they said that that ladder's been there for over 200 years. Cool. But you're no one's allowed to move it. Yeah. Because the whole deal is all six denominations have to vote on if anything is going to be changed with the church. And that means, like, if you move a chair, they say it'll be like a war. Everything. Oh Everything. My God. Every so detail. This ladder has been there for, two, like, over 200 years. Yeah. Because they can't decide whether to take it away or not. They won't agree on it. It's like committees. It's like a Baptist church. (laughs) Yeah. What do you think is happening on a celestial level about this argument? What do you mean? It's just like, that's so dumb. It's got to be their their podcast. They're just tuning in, watching people (laughs) argue about the latter. (laughs) It's so crazy. Like, this isn't what we had in mind, everybody. But someone in the 70s did move it. Uh Uh-oh. And... Dude, it was like the church was about to like go bananas. Jesus, like who moved it? Who moved? You moved it? No, I didn't move it. You moved it. Oh my and then the dude gosh. put it back, and they're like, "All right, <laughs> take all right. it easy. Everybody <laughs> relax." Yeah. Um, I feel like this is a natural segue. Okay. To talk about everything happening in Israel. Okay. Do you want to? Every- I want to. Let's be, talk everything about it. Actually, <laughs> I just no. I mean, I don't want to like dive into it because when this comes out. This I don't know what yeah, has yeah, happened yeah. or what's going to happen. Right. Um, but I do want to say that we should be definitely praying for all the people in Israel and Palestine, man. There's yep. a lot of innocent people dying, and it's not cool. War yep. is poo-poo, mm-hmm. and there's a lot of politicized things going on with it, and it's very polarizing, which stinks because some would say that I don't, it shouldn't be polarizing. Yes. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it stinks, and I. It's scary. Yeah, it's super it's scary. scary for people there. It's the yeah. civilians. civilians. It's like it's, I can't imagine living in that type of yeah um, yeah terror all and the time. No matter which side of the argument you're on, no one should be excited about people suffering. No. no. So and that's what yeah. I hate. I hate the celebration of people dying. It's just like it stinks, man. There's yeah. no good comes from innocent people dying, yeah. you know? And the, the heartbreaking part, and I guess what is really like, you know, oh my gosh, what I'm like grieving the most about war right now is like, it's usually the vulnerable who suffer the most, you know, and women and children. And that's what we're seeing right now. And it's just so devastating. And, but what we can, what we know is, 
believers is that this this could possibly be an indication of the hope that's to come, you know, and mm-hmm. all the stuff that's being fulfilled. And so I guess NAB, we just implore people to use your wisdom yeah. and study up and... And if all else fails, be kind. Yeah. Yeah. Just be kind. Yeah. It's pretty simple. Mm-hmm. But if Jesus is coming back, y'all get ready. Hey, surf's That's up, It's pretty cool. Yeah. And calories don't exist. Uh. <laughs> if Jesus is coming back, then calories don't exist. True that. <laughs> I'm going to eat this whole cake right now. Maybe. We get to heaven and Andy's like fatter. <laughs> <laughs> So <laughs> <Some> guys, <laughs> Andy, um, <laughs> found the buffet, huh? Yeah. Oh, I'm just kidding, Andy. You're not fat. That no, 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 no. Speaking no, of Andy being it. fat in heaven, whoa, we got that. Don't go anywhere. Yes, Grandpa. Yes, grandson. Can you tell me a bedtime story? Mm, sure. <laughs> so back in the war, no, I was no, oh, no, a happy story, Grandpa. Oh, of course. <laughs> So back in Nam, I no, was, oh, no, happy story. Grandpa. Well, back when I was your age, I started a Patreon <gasps> on a podcast p- podcast that I was a part of. What's a Patreon? It's where you can go purchase different uh, <laughs> tiers <laughs> to <laughs> get all exclusive content from Ninjas or Butterflies. It sounds really cool. It really is. Probably really expensive. Though. It's not at all. <laughs> And you get really fun deals like discounts on ninjas merch and behind the scenes content and live Q and A's. Probably not extra episodes. And right? extra episodes. Wow. Yep. Reminds me of the war. <laughs> oh no, do I, I don't want to talk about the war. It was a good time. Thank you, but I'm gonna go to bed now. All right. Who yeah. are you? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Where am I? Where's my gun? <laughs> Josh! They're coming after me again! <laughs> Hit the ground! Grandpa, that was just the doorbell. What? <laughs> what is a doorbell? <laughs> That's Grandma. Put the gun down! <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Too far. No, so he, where am he I? He puts the gun down and they live happily ever after. Oh! <laughs> oh wait. I love you, Betsy. I was worried about where I had I to thought you that. were my enemy, though. <laughs> I thought you were Charlie. <laughs> Get it from Vietnam. Nice. All the bathrooms were taken. What'd what? you do? I went and peed outside. Nice. I, I figured you a tree. Ran, ran to the nearest temple. When is somebody going to catch you? Peeing outside? <laughs> so, ha! I caught him. <laughs> Can if it's on your own property, can you get in trouble? Yeah, uh, there's nudity. Yeah, it's a public that's, workspace. That's, a, that's public space. That's nudity in a public area. But it's a private area. That's indecent exposure. What it's private? If, if someone sees you difference? in a public area, it's decent. If they decent see exposure. you in a public area, but I'm on my private land, you can. Get, yeah, it's still public can, though. If you're outside, you can get in trouble for display of nudity, like behind glass in your home. That's silly. What's the difference between you peeing behind this tree? <laughs> That's silly. I, should, I want all my neighbors to see me. <laughs> and somebody singing, and then you going in the middle of the sales pit and peeing on the rug. Wait a second. Just a kid riding his bike by, oh, there's Mr. Hooper's. Oh, no! Ah! No! Is that cool, Carl? If oh, it's, no! If it's your property, yep. you should be able to do whatever you want. Okay. Okay, Mr. Okay. Hooper. Ada's walking by someone's house, and dude's in the window... No, he's no, he's mowing the lawn. All right, nude, dude. It's Florida, man. It's his land. It's his land. <laughs> Ada, Ada, look away. Yeah, just Ada, don't look. Ada, it's just this, we're this, not gonna. This go, is America. We're not this is the gonna, freedom. <laughs> we're not gonna walk past his house, but this is America, <laughs> and that is his right. And I respect you, sir. <laughs> I want to shake your hand. <laughs> I want to shake your hand. Oh, uh, wasn't that ad fun? So I had fun. a fun. I had a good time. Yeah, had yep. fun. So I what believe, else? I can't believe I smashed that cake in your face. <gasps> yeah. No. no I can't didn't. believe that happened. You that was the craziest that. You didn't thing. Do that. Yeah, I did. No, you didn't. It was right that. at the end. I no. just took it and I <laughs> No, I don't I actually don't remember that at all. I remember no, you were vividly. about to do it and then like I like somehow like put like a an enchantment on you yeah. and you froze and then I did it to your face. But you know what I remember? You know what, what I, you know what I remember? What? How it happened is because it didn't happen here. It happened like later in the day, like whenever you weren't like 
uh, paying attention and like I was filming you on my phone and I went up and I don't think it happened like that but <laughs> either way well we'll see <laughs> I do remember all of that though yeah. someone's trying to log into our TV oh no Dude. it's Maria Alejandra these debates are the most stressful thing because my brain immediately goes into how am I going to edit to pull off? Like you're like force field. <laughs> my, my brain's like, he's like, no, instead, it just starts to get instead I'm on a unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Breathing fire. Um, Disney. Disney. Back at back. <laughs> back. One at more it, time. Back. One more time. Back at it. Actually, <laughs> what am I doing? What are you talking about? Because it's question corner time. Oh! Question corner, question corner, question corner with Lily, where the questions are fresh on our mind. Ha ha. Um, my phone's going to die, so I've got to... Hey. Did you hear that bird noise? (laughs) That's a really good bird. I have a a question, but I have an inkling that we've asked it before. (laughs) Inkling. Inkling. (laughs) Shut up. (laughs) But I have an inkling. (laughs) Okay. But I have an inkling. Can you not see now? Going back to the finger licking story. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she just made that noise I herself on her own volition. I literally, that you did it. No, I didn't. It's the most truthful story ever. And somebody's comment was, he's so mad about it that it's obvious that it's true. Because Man, 200 likes I told you never to bring it up that it's real, so. <laughs> true. Okay. <laughs> did you ask this question already, Andy? Because I feel like you did. If he you doesn't were to know. have, if oh. you were to have five liquids readily available to disperse out of your fingers, we haven't talked do? about that. But okay. yeah, let's do it. That's fun. If you were to have, okay, if you were to have any five liquids readily available to dispense out of your fingertips, cool. What would they be? I'll go first. Why? I'm the birthday boy. Oh, go first. <laughs> She's also a lady. Oh, but you're the birthday boy. What are you doing? Go no, first. That is, no. Go I, first. For my birthday, I choose women's rights. Oh, see, that's a class act. I would do water. <laughs> <laughs> my phone died. Ah. <laughs> you had a charger? No. I would charge it. All right, go throw it on a charger. Because what if your mom needs help? Okay, you answer while I'm on the move. Okay. Um, I would do water. Mm-hmm. I would do gasoline. Mm. That's right. good. Yeah. Those are that's, those are two solid picks. I know. <laughs> Um, water, gasoline. Um, does a sauce count as a liquid? That's where my brain is. <laughs> it does. Oh, all right. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Does mayonnaise count as a sauce? <laughs> Wait, maybe I didn't want to go first because I was so stoked in the gasoline part. <laughs> I, I got a couple. Uh, let's okay, think about well, yeah. Let's pros and cons. Let's think about like what would you want? Just right off the bat, water, gasoline. Um, think out loud. Juice. Yeah. Um, Red Bull. Okay. No. I take it back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Where'd she go? It's finding a charger, I guess. What in the world? All right. So th- you're, you're thinking th- five things you're always going to want. Yeah. You're all, what are you all? What kind of liquids are you always needing? I'll give you my number one. What about a Dr. Pepper? Soy sauce. <laughs> Soy sauce. <laughs> nice. That's a good one. Se- um, number two, sesame oil. That's a good one. Oh, man. That's tough. Number three, sriracha. Okay. Number four and five, go. Uh, water and gas, because water and gas, nice. That's a those are solid picks. All right, Lil, you go. Okay. I mean, I I, I still cooking I, and you're you know. I only driving. have two. No, no, I only have three so far. Um, I'm water and gas. So you stole my gas. Everyone's stealing my gas. That's no, no, I are, I had it written down in my phone. People Brilliant. are allowed to choose gas. Prove it. No. Water and gas. <laughs> I don't have it. Water and gas. I'm going to say, um, I can't remember anymore because I don't have my phone in front of me. You can't and remember? I have some really good ones. I know that I wanted a uh, pre mixed liquid IV with water and stuff. <laughs> okay. Um, milk for babas. <laughs> for the kids? Yes. Okay. And, oh gosh. What was the last one? Hmm. I don't remember. Diet Coke. <laughs> all right nice did you finish yours nope no what is yours um you said i'm thinking like now i'm thinking of like survival yeah water gas, water gas red bull no no more red bull water gas milk for bombas maybe what like I maybe like a protein shake mm. just for like survival like a nutrient like a like a one of those shakes that have like all the nutrients in them i'm mixing diet coke and i'm putting in japanese barbecue nice <laughs> Orange juice, because I love orange juice. Yeah. And. Um, With pulp. 
Um, Dude, some pulp. Pulp? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pulped orange juice. Mm. And golly, I don't know. Let's just do. Think of something that's going to make you money. What's going to give you money? Gold. <laughs> Liquid, Liquid gold. gold. <laughs> um, oil. <laughs> but you have gas. Oil you could sell, though. Um, yeah. Some 5W30. Dude, that would take a long time to fill some barrels, though, with <laughs> liquid coming out of your finger. Just but um, you wouldn't have to go to the gas station. You just do it in the comfort of your own driveway. Man, I'm just picturing you, go, you in your driveway with your finger and your gas tank. People are like, you good? What's up? You I own this land. It? I can do whatever I want. <laughs> okay, sir, you can do that with your finger, but why are you naked? <laughs> <laughs> oh. There you go. I I would do uh I would do gasoline. I'm stealing that. I'm not going to do water though. I'm going to change that out with <laughs> sun, uh, Mountain Dew, okay, or Sunny D, either one. Uh, and then I'm going to do Duke's mayonnaise. Oh gosh, <laughs> ew! It's a sauce. It counts, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. I mean, it counts, and then, but um, you're a lunatic. And then I'm going to do um, I'm going to do. Let's see here. What were some other good liquid vegetable oil? So I can start oh. just cooking all the time. Oh, yeah, so that expensive, would be right? No, and it's not that olive expensive. Olive oil. Olive oil. I'm doing olive oil. Olive okay. oil my, is expensive. For my last one. I'll do olive oil. Dude. <laughs> what do you mean? It's the <laughs> avocado oil. Yeah, I'll do avocado Dude, oil. So it's olive like oil hack. TJ Maxx. No what, way. What's the hack? Go to TJ Maxx. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, like, I was getting, like, the big freaking things of it for only uh, three bucks. What? Yeah. Dang. It's probably fake olive oil. Though. Yeah, I, I bought, don't know if that's I get true. my truffle oil for like four dollars. You know what it is? It's just some guy it's in the just, behind TJ Maxx just <laughs> scooping off the ground. If you look closer, it says Oliver Oil. <laughs> <laughs> this is Oliver's oil. He, Oliver's some guy in Wisconsin. He's selling his oil and from goes, his finger. What's that mean? And then they don't answer. He's like, "What's that mean?" <laughs> I'll take five buckets. <laughs> no, but for real, they got like everything. John came over. We were cooking steaks, and he was like, "Oh, that's." Really good stuff. I looked it up. It was like a twenty dollar bottle that I got for four bucks. Okay, are you sponsored Dang. by TJ Maxx now or something? Are you really pitching this? Yeah, yeah. I My fifth one would be ink toner. Because <laughs> <laughs> I just I would just open a business. It would just I would just rake in the money. All you right. know how much ink toner costs? So much. It's really it seems expensive. like it's a, really expensive. Seems like a bad investment in the digital age. No, mm. no. Yeah, you still need to print things. I feel like there's Sorry. one. There's one that I'm missing, but maybe if I think about it, I'll just yell it out. What if it was like movie theater popcorn butter? <laughs> no, I get, that makes me so sick. I was yeah, on the true. I was on the fence. Uh, ginger ale. With coffee. That's what you would do. No, you're a ginger ale crackhead. I do like ginger ale. I didn't even coffee. Put, I didn't even put coffee in mine. Get rid of the milk. <laughs> <laughs> Our children. I have to have coffee. <laughs> it, it's, it's gonna be black coffee because sometimes I want a little black coffee. Sometimes I want a little cream in it. I could buy the cream though. Mm, nice. What's something that you could just put all fingers in one cup and it would still taste good? Orange juice, like and suicide, yeah. <laughs> ginger ale. What if I just picked all five sodas? <laughs> Andy, what you, you mix up your gasoline and ginger ale fingers. <laughs> ah, done. <laughs> Poison. Fill your car up with ginger ale. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> There's your problem. <laughs> it's just full of ginger ale. <laughs> That bubbles come out of your tailpipe. <laughs> oh, all right. Give us a band. Oh, um, <laughs> it's like the every, biggest every week. Ah! Phil Jeez. Collins. Phil oh. Collins. Oh, Andrew has a real or something else. Oh, no. How am I going to watch it? I'm going to have to. He's going to show you. Show you Right now, oh no, oh no, whoosh, Mike Tyson, sent, this is the creepiest child I've ever seen in my life, okay, wait, uh, volume or no, uh, I don't think it matters, okay, no volume, actually, you gotta do some volume, okay, you ready, that's well, a lot of could, volume, you can add oh, the no, volume in the, in yeah, the, yeah, yeah, in the that's, edit. you're gonna get copyrighted. Oh, what the heck? What the heck? <gasps> Dude, yeah. Dude, I don't like that. <laughs> My kid starts doing that. I'm just, I'm literally, I'm like, hey, let's that is take not a field a, trip. That is not a child. That is a creature from the underworld. Oh my gosh. I think that's a disease though that people have that they don't. 
I think it's a that disease. That makes them do that? Yeah, that their joints are that way. <laughs> That's sure. wild. I mean, she looks happy, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine Good being her. the parent? She's just like, mm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no one likes this, sweetie. No, not you're, scare, just, you're scaring everyone. Wait, just do this at home, honey, please. <laughs> but do it in your room. Shut the door. Dude, could you imagine, like, if you had a kid that did that? No. And, like, at night, <laughs> it would just be going down the hallway like you that? No. Mama, no! <laughs> you know, Josh this morning reenacted for me. What the? So we're in this, like, period of time where, like, both kids aren't sleeping. And so survival. I go and I sleep with Jane and Ada <laughs> usually comes in yeah. to so, sleep with Josh. Yeah, in our bedroom. And he reenacted for me. He said, Lily, nighttime is starting to get really scary. It, dude, it's starting to get really scary. What are you talking about? Okay, so Ada every single night comes into our room, but yeah. you just don't know when. Yeah. And I'm at the point now to where I can't fall asleep until she comes in the room because yeah. it's so scary. <laughs> Um, because <laughs> it's like, so it was like 1230 last night. I was still up. I'm just like, kept on looking at her baby monitor. I'm like, okay, she's asleep. And then look, and then I like thought I heard something. I'm like, oh, I look and she's asleep. And then I'm not kidding you. I like looked, she was asleep. I put it down and it was maybe a minute. Yeah. And you just hear. <laughs> and then the door goes, boom. <laughs> <laughs> <She's> like, ah! <laughs> and you're like, oh my gosh, dude. I said, you're the scariest little girl ever. It's so I love that so much. But it's she, so I mean, scary. the door's like, wow. Well, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. You need to lay down a blanket in front of it or something. <laughs> yeah, something, dude. We've got to figure this season out, too. Yeah, I literally built her a cage to sleep in, and she escapes it. <laughs> <laughs> you need to put a, a top it's, on it's, it, it's, it's, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Throw some, some chicken wire yeah, on exactly. the top. <laughs> some bar. The, the chicken run. Alfreda. We'll Perfect. replace her bed with the chicken run. She loves the outside. <laughs> Throw uh, th up some barb, dude. <laughs> She ain't getting through it. It's not a cage. It's a Montessori bed. Yeah. That's a cage. That's a cage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a millennial. Like, uh, like the very, like, <laughs> it's not a cage. It's a Montessori bed. This is our millennial Montessori bed. <laughs> She's a dog kennel. <laughs> <laughs> this actually, we tore down a redwood in uh, California and make this, uh, make this cage. I mean, bet. Um, <laughs> but speaking of cages, um, Disney World. Mm -hmm. Disney in general. Yeah. We talked about this. I think we've all talked about Don't it already. What you got there? Snack? Snack. 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 Um, but we saw this thing where all these pictures of Walt Disney World, his fingers are always like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's because the rumor is that Disney went in to every single picture of Walt Disney and edited out this, him holding a cigarette. Yeah. And then you pointed out to me at Disney, all the cast members. Wait, wait, yeah. Whenever you're going down a hallway... To direct them. It's not a cigarette thing, though. It's not a cigarette thing. Why not? Why wouldn't it be? What we were Why do you wave like this? What we were trained to do is they said it's a... It's she a, did work for Disney, too. It's so. a cultural yeah, but, It's a cultural thing because this is offensive in some cultures. And so we were said there were, they said you, there are two options. You do this or you do this with a whole hand. Now, I did do the Disney college classes, mm -hmm. and one of my professors did say it had something to do with the cigarettes. <laughs> It has to. <laughs> it absolutely has to. What are you it's doing? Like a roundabout way to agree. <laughs> it, Definitely. It absolutely has to. Because all the these official training like, is because of culture. Well, yeah, because they're not going to say anything about <laughs> yeah. it. Of course they're going to say it. Because all these like really famous pictures of Walt Disney, like they're iconic pictures. Yeah. But he always had a cigarette. Yeah, but it's not like he was like, he smoked cigarettes so much that he probably like died from them. <laughs> right? Oh, wait. Did you not know? Oh. Well, <laughs> No, that's too bad. He got lung cancer. He got lung cancer, which is sad, but th it's definitely it's definitely why they do it. A hundred percent. Because yeah. they could have easily just said, you have to do this. They could have yeah. easily said you had to, whatever. And jo <laughs> Josh made the joke. This is comfy, though. <laughs> He's like, instead of doing this, we should just do. <laughs> <laughs> that. Yeah. That. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, but I What's just, Disney up to? I just wonder. What are they trying to hide? Yeah. I don't know, man. It's like. Like, obviously, smoking is bad for you kids. Terrible. But do you think that's what <laughs> Walt adults. wanted, was to have all of the pictures of his likeness removed? No, man. No. He's his own person. Yeah. <laughs> and he liked to smoke a cigarette. Hey. What's so wrong with that? <laughs> Except for that it causes what is, cancer. What, back then, what is, it was good for you. Yeah, yeah, back then it cured cancer. <laughs> do you know they actually used to believe that tobacco helped asthma? Yeah. <laughs> and did you know that it actually can in... The it case like, of it, it, like, it, like, um, because you're suffocating from smoke, and so you're it, you 
the opposite of dilate. Like, or but it's not. It's yeah, because you have no longer have a problem with asthma. It's, it's the lung scar- cancer. <laughs> yeah, it's the scar. Well, it's the scar tissue after it like retracts, but immediately is it it tobacco opens up. or is it the nicotine in it's, tobacco? It's, it's tobacco. It's reaction to oh, smoke inhalation, I believe. Do you remember Outlander? <laughs> <laughs> with your vest too you like that it's like you're like a single mom that just like put the kids down or like send them off to her dad's and she's just like watching your golden bachelor <laughs> <laughs> anyways what what i don't remember what i said <laughs> did you hear that ai is going to be helping us talk to uh whales and birds now i did <gasps> see that cool. what within the next two years they're saying ai is going to be able to have the capabilities for us to start communicating <laughs> With birds and whales <laughs> in their own like language. I just don't know yeah. if God wants that. Yeah, I, don't I don't think not, so he either. Doesn't want man. Any of this. <laughs> I also don't want to know what's on the mind of a whale. I yeah. do. It's like, it's like I want to know. It's like, Actually, like whale. I hate humans. I hate humans. No, like, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be, like I'd be way more afraid of what birds think about. I oh, know. Totally. What's your first question? Um, what you thinking about? <laughs> <laughs> Mine is, what's the craziest thing you've seen? I don't want to know that. <laughs> that would actually be very interesting, dude. Yeah. If we get, wait a can second, can we get a wait bird a on the podcast, please? Wait a can second. we get a can we get a full on sandhill crane on the podcast in the next two years once wanna, AI comes out? I want a pigeon. <laughs> no you. way! You voted for Hillary too? <laughs> oh, get a turkey. That was my turkey. I can't do a sandhill crane. It's too hard. They sound <laughs> like dinosaurs. dinosaurs bro. Dude, they yeah. are dinosaurs, man. <laughs> Still sound like it's a not, turkey. It's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> no. I can do a good turkey. Do it. That was good. Needs to be a little more. Do, 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 do that. There you go. That was good. That's good. That's just turkey. with your tongue. Are you working on any impressions right now? Turkey. Just a turkey? <laughs> <laughs> no, people from Turkey. Um, no. Um, can they not weaponize that? Oh, yeah. With birds? Yeah. I mean, if you just gaslit birds and be like, listen. Well, you know, you send birds into like hostile areas or something or mm-hmm. like to spy on people. Yeah. yeah. Birds. But that's but the, the thing whole is, thing. Birds aren't real. But, but the, the thing, whole movement. Hey, but the thing is they would have to. These birds have choice. They have will. So you would have to like. Or do, do they do, do they? But like, does the government start befriending them? Like and they're like, hey, yeah. now that we've known each other for like three months, like it'd be really cool if like you went overseas and did like some <laughs> kind of missions for us. <laughs> And, and they're like, do you like, even I know guess. how birds work? I it's can't like, fly across the ocean. It's like, it's like I'll, do you, or, yeah, cool, I could do that. But like, we're f- still friends, right? Like, this is just, just a business thing, right? I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, nah, it's fine. No, come, on. Nah, come on, dude. I love you. You want a cracker? Yeah. <laughs> dude, they can take down Get planes. the cracker when you're done. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen can. that? Like the hawks at airports that are actually employed. I guess the hawk handler is employed. What? By the airport. I didn't know that. Because like if a flock of birds goes into a turbine, it'll blow the motor. Yeah. So they have hawks at the airports that are trained to scare other smaller yeah, birds away. That's pretty cool. What movie? It's like a war movie. And they go, bird strike. Bird strike. I don't know. <laughs> and they fly in like oh, that chicken exact run. scenario. <laughs> <laughs> chicken run. <laughs> bird strike. <laughs> that was actually the name of Chicken Run before they came out with Chicken Run. That was, that was the, bird no, strike. That was, um, that's funny. You hate claymation, right? I do. <laughs> it scares her. <laughs> you see that Billy Bobby Brown with Gromit, Wallace and Gromit, <laughs> which so is like mean. eating it's the so carrots. So mean, but it's so <laughs> Wait, funny. Wait, what? Show me. I <laughs> know it's. it's oh, we'll just... show you. We'll show you on the pod after the pod. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Ooh Patreon. Yeah. Teasing it all up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <I> was... <laughs> no, but you guys should go check out our Patreon because we actually do really fun stuff there. Yeah, claymation. This isn't the ad, okay. Claymation is creepy except for um like rudolph and those i would say that's, that's the most creepy, creepy what are you doing <laughs> stop stop you're scary what? exactly he needs to start doing that at night whenever you're like <laughs> lily <laughs> with a glowing red light <laughs> last night two nights ago i put an ada down and he texts me, he's like, what are you going to sleep in there? Because I was like in there for too long, I guess. But <laughs> yeah, with the voices. What in the world? <laughs> what, are you going to sleep in there? What the hell, you going to sleep in there or something? <laughs> but anyway, I come back into our room. We're going to watch Harry Potter. And I can sense that he's hiding. <laughs> I, 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 literally, the hair stands back on my neck. And I think he tried to, to juke me because he left the bathroom light on and the door closed. So he's like, wanted me to think that he's in the bathroom. <laughs> Is that what you did? I was I was laying under the bed trying to scare. Him. But is that what you did? Is that you plan like oh, oh yeah, like, oh, turn yeah. the light? I catch his <laughs> reflection right in the mirror, and he's under the bed. 
On a humiliating. <laughs> oh, that's the worst, dude. I laid, I'm gonna get it so good. <laughs> I laid under there for way too long, but I'm like, because it was like, <laughs> like probably seven minutes in. I'm like, I can't just stop now. <laughs> so that's why I texted her. Well, you should have just stayed there and just filmed it the whole time. <laughs> oh I just goodness. fall asleep under there. <laughs> just butts up in the air. To- <laughs> And it comes up and it scares you. It comes and scares me and then I scare her. (laughs) (laughs) Oh ah, ah! (laughs) Oh my gosh. Uh, That's so good. Yeah. That's so funny. I do want to talk about our last um, podcast where we had the giant owl man shoot you. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. We showed Ada it and it scared scared her her so bad. bad. We played it and then she was just like this. Like, are you okay? Ada? She's like, Owl. <laughs> she went, like, hoo, hoo. She went hoo, hoo. <laughs> I told you I'm gonna just wait outside your guys' house in a trench coat and it was on stilts. So just so the owl mask I would I would do that, but I'd fully believe that I would get shot. Yeah, yeah. probably. Okay, I have a stupid question. Yeah. Just, no, you get a BB gun right to the face. <laughs> no BB BB slingshot. 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 Yeah. Um I was watching this TikTok and he asked this guy a question. His response was hilarious. He had mm-hmm. just like went down the rabbit hole of like every conspiracy. Didn't even answer the question. Yeah. He's like, the earth is flat, blah, 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 blah. But then he said something and it perclumped me. And I know this is a really dumb question. And probably all of you and maybe everyone watching this is going to be like, Josh, you are a dummy. Yeah. Um, but space is a vacuum, right? We think. Hoover. It is. <laughs> um, if, if space is a vacuum... Fire can't w- exist within a vacuum, right? Right? I don't know. If there's no air, there's no oxygen to feed the fire. Yeah. Um, how is the sun <laughs> fire? <laughs> Dang. I don't think. I don't think it's just like. <laughs> I think it's just made of fire. I know, I but think how it's, can- like, it's a chemical reaction. Like it's. I don't think it's like but normal. in a vacuum. I don't know, man. I don't, maybe it has its own atmosphere. Yeah, that's, probably, yeah. I, that's yeah. what I thought of. Yeah, you would have to, right? But then wouldn't it burn its own atmosphere up? Maybe it's got a really strong atmosphere. Well, that's why the sun is going to burn out at some point. Stars mm. die. Dude, have you Dude. seen the difference like of the temperature on the on the surface and co- according to and compared to in the middle of the sun? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Easy for you to say. <laughs> <laughs> the temperature on land on the surface is completely different than in the middle. And it's like, it's not as hot on the surface as I thought it would be. Yeah. How yeah. hot is it? I, don't, I mean, I'm going to be wrong, but I thought it was 10,000 degrees. I was like, that Celsius can't be right. Fahrenheit. We, we, don't, we, we know that we don't know what the difference is anyway. Negative? <laughs> So, I don't want to go down well, this path again. According to West Texas A and M, the burning of the sun is not chemical combustion; it's nuclear fusion. Don't think of the sun as a giant campfire; it's more like a giant hydrogen bomb. Whoa, that's gnarly. That's nuts. <laughs> so it's not. Gnarly. It's not even like fire at that point. It's just like, dude, it's a ball just, of just just hot radiation. It, it literally says the sun burns hydrogen. Several hundred million tons per second. How do we know that? How do we know that? How do we know that? I just want space. Look at it, Lily. Obvious. (laughs) Space sometimes just stresses me out. Yeah. I I think about space more than the Roman Empire, I think. Oh, oh, totally. Yeah. Um, I think I figured out what my Roman Empire is. What? The Rosetta Stone. What? Like the actual Rosetta Stone or like the language? The actual Rosetta Stone. <laughs> the language learning, learning. <laughs> program. What's the Rosetta Stone? It's just the what? first recorded language used ever. Or it had multiple languages on it, right? It, it was, was just basically, it was like we could determine when they started using language. Oh. In I a recorded way. I guess that makes way. sense to name a company after that. Yeah. yeah. It makes a lot of sense. Smart. Um, I think about it like probably every five days. But how does, does just stars... I don't get it. No. How are they? How how do they have enough fuel to just keep burning? Is it because they but they, they 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 die? But there's an infinite amount, and space is growing. It's yeah. really growing. And how does one start to be a star? Yeah, does he get mad? <laughs> <laughs> just just two tiny little things in space just get really mad and they interact with each other and become a star. There's gonna be so many people watching this. Like you guys, <laughs> you how idiots. are you? How do you have a podcast right now? How do you exist as humans? You know what's yeah. crazy? Is I'm we not were- a scientist. <laughs> Someone gave us these mics. Okay? I make jokes. We went to private school. I can shoot 
ginger ale out of my pinky. <laughs> I got a car full of ginger ale. <laughs> what do you take me for? Come on. Um, space. Space, man. Hey, I got a hypothetical. Okay. I love hypotheticals. This one's a good one. <laughs> I, I don't know if you're going to think it's a good one. I like it. Um, I texted Alan, and he gave me an answer, and I was like, that's ridiculous. There's no way. But we'll see what you guys think. Okay. So. You're a gladiator. You're in the Coliseum, right? Yep. There's no way you're getting out. You have to fight to the death, basically. Yep. But a little twist. In the center of this arena, every 60 seconds, a tw- your, a 12-year-old version of yourself shows up and starts sprinting right at you <gasps> with his only intention is to take you out. Every 60 seconds? Every 60 seconds. Oh, how many 12-year-olds do you think you could take out? Of myself? Of yourself. All of them. No. 12 years old. How many, how many would it take was, to take you down? I was 4 foot 11. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. That's 12th grade. I mean, the 7th grade. Sorry. 12 seventh years old. 7th grade. grade. Seventh I was a skater grade. boy. I was a, little, I was a little skater boy, too. I had a Justin a Bieber punk. haircut. I was a little punk. I think if you would, if I, was I think stringy though, but I was strong. Right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah same. I, but I think and as the, soon as he my got endurance was insane too. Yeah. As soon as he got close to me, I'd just be like, "It's not your fault." And then I would just he was just start he's crying. Strong. So he's like, "He's done." And my so he'd go over in the corner. And I would just wait another <laughs> sixty seconds. <laughs> if you don't attack me, I'll reveal who your father is. <laughs> <laughs> then like Put down the spear. you're telling him the story, and then all of a sudden there's like ten thousand yeah, of you all crying. <laughs> <laughs> we all just do one big group hug. <laughs> Uh, I never knew my father. <laughs> it's less of a question about physical endurance and emotional endurance. Mm. Like it's a, it's both. <laughs> yeah, dude, I would totally beat up my twelve year old. How many? How many of them? <laughs> I was a punk. You want to know what Alan said? <laughs> well, I want to say what oh, I would yeah. say first. Okay, yeah. <laughs> with my with my physical condition now, I'm so out of shape. Yeah, I get winded like picking something off the ground. Oh yeah. So it would probably take three to four. Three to four to get me. Your life is on the line. Okay, you're in battle. Okay, you're surrounded by thousands of cr- like cheering people. Five. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one. Uh, your ten, life is on the line. Ten max. Ten max. Dude, oh, I'm afraid what? to say my answer. You're gonna laugh at Alan's answer. <laughs> oh no. I have no idea. I I'm not a fighter. Come on, picture it. Well, how big were you guys in like twelfth grade? I'm this women mature yeah. faster, so I'm it was basically myself. Seventh grade, I was probably like one forty five. I was I didn't weigh a hundred pounds and I was four eleven. So dang. I could smoke myself. I was like, I was one thirty five and I was a wrestler. Yeah. So I you've got the we could I it would have been that would have yeah. been scary into me a little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> be super super surprised to be taken down by your twelve year old self. Like, what is that? <laughs> I'm literally the same weight and height that I was in the seventh grade. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Same here. It just all looks so different. awkward. <laughs> <laughs> seventh grade. Like, Whoa. <laughs> Would you back that? <laughs> Full beard. Uh, how many, Lil? Just throw out a number. I have no idea. I don't want to do it. It's a hypothetical. More than five? I don't think I'm getting more than five. I think I'm gonna. I'm at two, max. But you, got I'll, that, you got that mom, like... Like you have to, you have something to fight for. Like it's like you have your kids and your w- husband at home. I'm unwilling to fight yourself. Not that yeah. you, didn't, not that you didn't have anything to fight for when you were a kid. I'm saying like <laughs> that's not what I meant. I'm just saying you have more. Twelve now. year olds give up. <laughs> no. What's Wait. your answer? I now I'm embarrassed, but I because uh, I was like, uh, there's no way Alan's. I'm gonna do less than Alan, and Alan said fifty or sixty. No, no, I was like, no. Alan. I was like, Alan, no. I was like, you couldn't take. One. I don't know. I, I don't think so. Um, Thirteen, no. maybe. I, but I, I was like exaggerating. But I was like, realistically, one hundred, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> no realistically way. Realistically, one. I think I, I could eat. I think I could do twenty with my life on the I'm, line. I'm twenty thinking, or thirty. I'm thinking of them yeah. surrounding no me. I'm thinking. Of I'm them getting like them circling out. me. You can't. I'm, I'm getting them out in 15. sixty seconds, dude. You get sixty seconds to take first, each one out. First one, true. Done okay, in true. the first five seconds, and I, I about the 50, 60, 60 seconds. What weapon do I have? 15. Nothing. I'm changing it to 15. It's your fists? It's your, your fists? Bare hands. It's, but you can spawn camp. What? 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 Spawn camping? Video games? Like when you appear in a certain place on a map in multiplayer, people who are really good at the game will figure out like a shooting lane oh. and just watch you reappear and take you out. 
I'd be right I behind see. the center. So right when they pee, you just punch them. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be kicking. Where's you at? <laughs> Yeah, throwing elbows. And then you have rest after you knock them out. <laughs> they, they just are start. we knocking them out or are we killing them? I'm saying knocking out is being nice because okay. I don't want to say the other word. <laughs> it's just a head that starts Once growing. they're goners. <laughs> we murder them? <laughs> it's okay. It's myself. <laughs> we had to take their heads off? <laughs> what? Andy, <laughs> you come back to the Coliseum. It's like, how'd you do, Andy? Like, I'm just like wearing like <laughs> my own skin. Like, whoa, Ew. Andy, you really didn't have to take it this far, bro. <laughs> oh. How many do you have to get through to be done? <laughs> no. that, I think it's a. <laughs> it'd probably be an hour, so you'd have to say like sixty. You'd have to fight at least sixty. Okay. Mm. Could you do it? That'd be really hard. <laughs> I think I could do it if it was a life or death thing. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to do it. <laughs> you don't have to well, do it. It's, too it's bad. not a real thing. That's what a, a hypothetical is. <laughs> Lily walks outside. There's a call. <laughs> Lily, get ready. <laughs> I don't wanna. What if she steps out that door and then she looks around? She's her twelve year old self and she's gonna call. No, Bermuda shorts and all. Oh. Black Bermuda shorts. Triangle. Yep. Bermuda. Oh. Triangle. I w- I want to say one last thing, end on a really terrible note. <laughs> Thanks. Just kidding. It's not terrible, but it's weird. Yeah. And actually, I don't want to say it. Never mind. Okay. What are you talking about? Well, no, you I have just don't, to. Because like, if something happens, I don't want it to be like. Just say real quick. Well, the FBI put out a <laughs> warning to New York City last night. They said it was like very like, mm, there's not a threat, but just be on the lookout. That's basically what they said. Yeah. Just be vigilant. Yikes. Mm. For what? Blue beam. Didn't say. What? They just said there could be a threat, but just be vigilant. So just be looking out. But it's not confirmed. That's what they literally Ima- said. Imagine saying that to somebody like, hey, good night, Dad. I'll see you later. Watch out. What, what do you mean? Anything could happen, Deb. What do, you, what, do you, what, do you, what do you mean anything could happen? That seems kind of like a Just saying, a, just a be threat. careful when you're in the parking lot. <laughs> in the parking garage that's poorly lit, just be careful. Seems like you know something. No, I don't. I'm just saying, sure would be a shame. Something bad. Why would happens. you tell me that if it's if nothing? All right, good night. <laughs> that's basically that's what they scary. did. I know that's so scary. So scary. Yeah. <laughs> Do you hear about? Uh, I mean, yeah, you sent it to me, but the California ban- banning Skittles now. <laughs> How hilarious is that? I you saw that? that. I saw that because of all the dyes. What? If but they got, have like till twenty twenty seven to change the ingredients. I was like, that's three years from now. Like that's crazy. It is crazy long. It, it is. That's crazy long. It's like if you're gonna outlaw, it's like. Just it's like, do it. hey, you can you can poison people for three more years, and after that, you're done, Mister. <laughs> I'm sick of I've had. Okay, two more years, dude. It is <laughs> sketchy if you look at what those dyes do. It's like we'd probably completely change our eating habits if we believed what the research says. Nah, I know what red dye forty <laughs> does to Ada. Dude, it makes her wild. Dude. Really? Yeah. It's proven. I've never we I've like, never tried. We've been doing like tests. Really? Like we'll give her like um like a fruit punch or you're something. A scientist. Yes, yes. Thank you. <laughs> What's our control? What's our independent variable? James Not doubts. giving her red stuff. Red dye. Well said. What's your hypothesis? Hey, how about just take one kid off a of red dye and keep the other one on it? 18 years, we'll we'll just come back and we'll, we'll do this. <laughs> it has that's, a tail. That's basically what they've been doing with the U.S. population. Yeah. yeah. My cousin, <laughs> Pretty much. My cousin Katie told me that she had a teacher one time in high school and the mom named her children, popular names of each individual culture, even though they were all like white, <laughs> to see what kind of life experience they had Whoa, by name interesting. alone. Interesting. What what was the turnout? I don't know. I never followed up. Wow. They all end up selling pers- meth in prison. <laughs> that person Jeez. grew up to be Michael Just kidding. Jordan. Who was it that you who was it a friend? <laughs> Sorry. I don't know what I missed the first part. I thought you were saying you heard a story of someone doing that. No, every single one of them oh. grew up to be presidents. Nice. Of but those different cultures. countries. But not here, yeah. Yeah, but they're nice. all war criminals as well. That's <laughs> <laughs> what it takes. <laughs> they're all, they're I all take named. back what I said. Have you ever... <laughs> I feel bad now. <laughs> no. They're probably very nice ladies. Have, have you <laughs> I don't know. Have you seen that meme that says, like, I um, I love the fact that you can go up to any white girl in America and, and I say, I, um, I want to apologize for what Josh did to you. And she can feel like 100% start crying. <laughs> 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 I was like, and so many girls they, were like, they, yes. They actually say Josh. Yes, it's Josh. <laughs> I was like, that's so great. 
That's funny. It was just I love that. Like, there's some people in your past that are like, yes, yeah, yes. yes I had he my, did hurt. I me. had my Josh experience. He did hurt me. He hurt me. It broke my heart. Did you see that video? This is the last thing I'll say because <laughs> I thought it was funny because that just made me think of this. Um, it was someone there in like a club. This was on TikTok, and it was an Amazon driver who definitely drank too much, and he's like singing like, eh, well, well, well. it's like yeah. a song like like. Uh, whatever sing like it. not a good song sing it. not gonna sing it <laughs> and then it immediately cuts to like probably 20 minutes after and he's like huddled around people and he's like she broke my heart she took everything oh. <laughs> oh. but he said fully dressed as amazon delivery stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh you showed me the tiktok with the woman on the horse in the parade and the guy's coming to help with the horse what? the caption said it said plot twist and this lady it was like a fourth of july parade this older lady, she's on a horse, and the horse is starting to act up. Yeah. And a guy like walked over and like grabbed the reins. And she said, "No, thank you." And she, yes, she's singing the national anthem. She goes, "No, thank you," and then immediately cut <laughs> to her being carried off on a stretcher. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a hard so <laughs> It's a plot twist. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, okay. That's, that's all I got. That's it, baby. All right. Hey, happy birthday. Hey, thanks, guys. Let's all go around and say one nice thing about Josh. Well, say actually say one nice thing about yourself first, and then we'll go around. What's your um, favorite thing about yourself? Um, Something that you love about my yourself. eyes. Oh, be real. Just kidding. Be genuine. Um, I like my pinkies. Okay. Because it makes me unique. You are unique. Unique. New York. Lily. Okay, who's next? Lily, go. I like how good of a dad you are. Aww. Sweet. Now, now you. <laughs> um. Come on. I know you got a lot. You dress nice. Aww. Aww. It's like Shia LaBeouf. You've nice. been told that before. I have. And he is actually He's my inspirational fashion icon. Yeah. I followed the account uh, Shia Outfits. Yep. <laughs> you really? Yeah, dude. He dresses so cool. <laughs> I saw him. Uh, he wearing like just like big old like military boots just out. And yeah. Down, like, with in, like, like with shorts. Like short shorts. <laughs> yeah, like, I was like, yeah. good for you, dude. And it's it awesome. looks cool. It's, cool. it's all it. about the confidence, yeah, man. You got to own True. it. True. 100%. Yeah. Um, I, I, I love you, Josh, and I hope you have the best birthday. But what do you love about I, me? I, I love that you are a man who, uh, who is cute <laughs> and, uh, you are kind yeah. and you are a wonderful boss. Oh, well, don't call me and a I, boss. You're on my boss. Yeah, I am. Technically. But I you just don't I, like that term. I know, but you're my boss. I am. You're my, I don't know. I like, it's, I, Think, trying to think of something more strict than a boss. Master. Master, per se. Yeah. Dictator? Um, yeah, dictator. Lord. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Lord Joshua. I am a lord. Technically. Yeah, have we talked about this? No, we talked oh, about it at the beginning, right? Yeah. Of Scotland. Oh, yeah. yeah. Did we talk about it? We have. Yeah, yeah. but you yeah. are lord. I am. I got the card. Yeah. You're, that's it, baby. Yeah. Hey, we seriously do love you. Hey, thanks. And I am thankful for you. I'm grateful for you. All right, this has been stop. A, this is a very fun podcast to do with you. My best bud. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, kiss, guys. Kiss. Uh, make no. All right. Oh. Oh my <laughs> gosh. I didn't think you were gonna turn back. What's your deal? I was trying to get a little cake on your cheek, but then you turned right toward me. <laughs> Did you get in your eye or no? Uh, yep. Oh no. <laughs> so this is the worst birthday I'm ever. <laughs> So, so I was getting on your cheek. It hurts. Because I was just because of the ad thing, remember? <laughs> I was trying to I'm sorry. <laughs> I hate this. I'm, I'm sorry. Hey, make hey, sure to like birthday. and review this podcast five stars everywhere. Um and comment the one thing that you love about me. Oh. And the one thing you hate about Andy. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, love you. Love, love you. Guys. Butterfly. The butterfly is no doubt one of God's most ah! beautiful creations. Has an empty mind. You were martial arts. Ha! Ninjas attack! Let's go to the hospital. It really burns. I'm so sorry, dude. <laughs> I was not imagining you to literally just turn right into my finger. Being poked in the eye is bad, but being poked in the eye with frosting on it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am your boss and you're fired. <laughs> Back up your stuff. No, no, but I'm not mad about it, though.
I'm just, not mad. Just get get out. It's just time to part just ways. I, I'm, I'm I'm fully aware of the situation and my emotions, how I feel towards it, and I'm saying not nothing personal. But you're fired, and I hope you die. No, it's not. It's not that bad. It's really not that bad. Just burns a little. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs>